If you've got a Fidelity investment account, you've probably encountered several options for your core position for cash. SPAXX, FDIC, FDRXX, and or FZFXX. Is there a best option? I compare them here. When I originally made the first version of this video in mid-2022, all these choices were paying the same thing, which was basically zero. So a comparison was pretty meaningless. Since then, interest rates have risen rapidly and drastically, so now there's a bit more to talk about. We're essentially concerned with yield and fees, so the choice basically comes down to a higher yield with something like SPAXX, FDRXX, or FZFXX, or FDIC insurance, but a lower yield with the FDIC insured deposit suite program. In any case, note that the yields and fees for these options change all the time, so the information and numbers you see in this video may be outdated by the time you see them, even if only a week later. Be sure to do your due diligence and check for yourself. At the very least though, after watching this video, you'll have a much better understanding of what exactly these products are. Your core position at Fidelity just refers to where your uninvested cash goes inside your account, and you have several options for how exactly that cash is held. Just remember that market timing tends to be a fool's errand, so you probably shouldn't be holding much actual cash in the first place. So first let's talk about SPAXX and FDRXX. These are money market funds, and for all intents and purposes, they're the same thing. You'll probably see both as options if you have a taxable brokerage account with Fidelity. FDRXX is basically just an older version of SPAXX. They both hold ultra short-term instruments like CDs and commercial paper that are considered cash equivalents. At the time of this video, SPAXX has a yield of 3.85% and a net expense ratio of 0.42%, while FDRXX has roughly the same yield of 3.86% and a net fee of 0.27%. You may see SPRXX instead of SPAXX. They're both very similar and should have the same fee, but SPRXX is slightly broader in its scope of debt instruments. As such, SPRXX may pay a higher yield than SPAXX. FZFXX is extremely similar to SPAXX and FDRXX, except it does not have the 10% or so in agency securities. This one is entirely US Treasury securities. That's not going to make much of a difference, so we're more concerned with its fee and yield, which are 0.28% and 3.86% respectively. FCash is another option you'll see in your taxable brokerage account, which is called the Taxable Interest Bearing Cash Option. Note that this is going to be the default option inside your account. In other words, if you don't specifically make a choice, this is going to be where your cash is going. FCash is a free credit balance from Fidelity that earns interest. At the time of this video, its interest rate is 2.19%. Now let's talk about the FDIC Insured Deposit Suite Program, which you might see as an option if it's a retirement account like an IRA. This is an FDIC insured vehicle into which cash is swept inside the account. This is basically a true savings account like you'd have at your regular bank. In fact, Fidelity actually spreads your deposits here among several banks. That's why it's called a program and is not an actual investable fund. As such, we'd expect to pay less than the money market funds on this list, but it can be considered comparatively safer. Though of course, all of these would be considered safe cash equivalent vehicles. With this choice, your cash is not exposed to any kind of market risk, like with the money market funds we've discussed previously. At the time of this video, this FDIC cash suite program has an interest rate of 2.19%. So based on all this info at the time of this video, FDRXX looks the most attractive of the money market funds with a yield after fees of 3.59%. If you want that FDIC insurance though, you'd have to go with the deposit suite program. I can't tell you which is the best option for you. Also keep in mind, you can switch between these anytime you want. And at the end of the day, this is definitely not a decision to lose sleep over. What's your Fidelity core position? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.